Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, May 31st. I'm James Spann. We're expecting an increase in the chance of rain late in the weekend and then drier air following that. We'll go in there and check some of the Skycam shots. These were captured early this morning, about 5 o'clock. Who would be awake at that hour of the day? That's the Tuscaloosa Sky Cam. A couple of folks are awake out there. That's the Hugh Thomas Bridge but, uh, connecting Tuscaloosa and Northport. That's uh, fair and mild. There's a nice look at downtown Fayette. And, hey, look at the sunlight, or say sunlight, the daylight, I should say, up in the Tennessee Valley at Decatur as we overlook the Tennessee River. Well, that big upper trough is just creeping along. It's produced widespread severe weather for days across the nation's midsection. You can see that convective flare this morning uh, north and west of the state. In fact, that's the uh, Little Rock radar. I'm sorry, the Memphis radar at 504. Really heavy rain falling over northeast Arkansas, parts of west Tennessee. Really not that far away from Alabama, but our weather won't change much in the short term. We're starting the day mostly in the 70s. We'll wind up in the mid-80s again today. Very muggy conditions like yesterday. Flash flood watches up from near Oklahoma City to Chicago. Much of Missouri, northern Arkansas involved in that, where they've had tremendous amounts of rain in recent days. And once again, severe weather from near Childress, Texas to Detroit and Milwaukee. A moderate risk of severe weather today for parts of Oklahoma, extending up toward uh, Springfield, Missouri. Had some really rough weather in that zone last night, but this should be their last day for a while. Thank goodness for them. Then tomorrow, the risk extends east, and we note... The SPC guys have pulled that into extreme north and northwest Alabama, and that would be for late tomorrow night with storms pushing in advance of a front. Uh, there could be a few gusty uh, storms with gusty winds and maybe some small hail, but a big severe weather problem in our state not expected. The higher severe weather pop, prob probabilities tomorrow from near Memphis up toward Indianapolis and Cincinnati. And the main risk will be shifting uh, tomorrow night to, or I'm sorry, uh, Saturday night to uh, strong straight line winds. And then day three, which is Sunday, a slight risk for the northeast United States and also one back in far west Texas. But again, we stress organized severe weather, really not expect, expected for this part of Alabama anytime soon. Here's the QPF chart. Rain numbers have come up a little bit. Uh, these guys have one to uh, almost two inches of rain for north Alabama. Not so sure we get that much. But clearly, there should be an increase in the coverage of showers and storms on Sunday, as you'll see. How about weather in the tropics on the eve of the Atlantic hurricane season that starts tomorrow? Uh, what's left of Barbara is kind of hugging the Gulf of Mexico coast of uh, Mexico. And uh, it looks like it's not going to regenerate. Uh, what's left of the thing will be drifting back inland over Mexico in coming days, uh, not getting back in the Gulf. However, another disturbance might ramp up to a tropical storm in the Gulf uh, in about a week. And again, we'll show you that here in just a moment. Let's take a look at modeling. This is the OZGFS valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. Upper low way north of here over the Dakotas. The surface low is basically underneath that thing at 993 millibars. And again, a, a secondary surface low that's over Texas, and you can see that zone of severe weather from Oklahoma up to uh, near Chicago. And for us, just not a whole lot of change. Uh, there's a look at the high-resolution NAM this evening at 7 o'clock, and you can see it's got just a handful of uh, scattered showers and storms. So um, highs mostly mid-80s today, partly sunny. A few spots could see a shower this evening. All right, tomorrow as we kick off the weekend, this is uh, 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. Same deal, partly sunny, warm, maybe a few scattered showers and storms in the afternoon. You can see the most organized rain back to the north and west on that front around Memphis. And uh, those storms could pack a punch, and those will try to creep into uh, the northwest corner of Alabama late tomorrow night. But they should be in a weakening phase, but they still could be fairly strong initially. And then Sunday, uh, you can see that nice uh, shot of dry air. Great news for Oklahoma and Missouri and Arkansas. Their severe weather is over. They're going to be in dry air. But that's going to push a cold front in here Sunday. So a pretty good chance of showers and storms on Sunday. Will it rain all day? No. 
but it could rain at any time. Maybe a downpour or two, but severe weather not expected. And then Monday, uh, that uh, feature is finally moving on to the east. A new one is dropping in over Montana, but there's general troughing over the east, and we should be in drier air on Monday. Uh, sky becoming partly to mostly sunny with a high in the mid-80s. Humidity values lower. Tuesday should be a sunny day. We might see a few upper 50s in the cooler pockets, but that'll be a nice sunny day. Wednesday of next week still looks dry. Thursday, moisture comes back. We'll mention a chance of scattered showers and storms. And hey, look at that low coming off the Yucatan of Mexico. And watch what happens. Friday, boom. Looks like tropical storm Andrea in the eastern Gulf. Uh, now, this is within seven days. This is technically not the land of voodoo, and the GFS has been hinting this for weeks. And uh, this has pretty much been the general idea. Uh, this course keeps Alabama on the dry side, but that would be wetting down the Florida Peninsula, play, uh, peninsula places like Tampa Bay, Orlando, Daytona, uh, Fort Myers. So if you got a trip to uh, the Mouse Palace in Orlando, just be aware there might be some heavy rain and wind issues in about a week. And then this is Saturday, June 8th. Uh, the thing is inland. The surface low is between Valdosta and Lake City with a heavier rain to the east. But if this track is correct, Alabama stays on the dry side. We wouldn't see much of any rain from this thing at all. And remember, early season tropical systems rarely become hurricanes. They just produce a whole lot of rain. They can produce some pretty significant flooding, in fact. We'll check the end of the forecast, June 15th, and I like the way that looks. That nasty heat bubble is not here, but it's back over the southwest United States. That 591 ring, a trough in the northeast, and that would suggest pretty typical weather for us if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. I'll be traveling this evening. I'll be in Gadsden for Riverfest, so just one video today. My next video will be Monday morning at 7 a.m. Brian Peters. The man that looks like Colonel Sanders will have the updates tomorrow and Sunday. You can watch us on ABC 3340 this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless. Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.